In this video, we will uh, try to use analyze option on this clustered uh, column chart to get more insights into our data. And this feature will be helpful for analyzing why this data distribution as shown here, uh, why it looks the way it does. So if the user is making any selections on the slicer, the values change obviously, right? So what we could do is we can right click on this visual and uh, if it is a bar chart or a line chart, you can use this option. So you have all those uh, things available for you and right click analyze and find where this why this distribution is different, right? Immediately Power BI will run um, various machine learning algorithms over this data and a new window is populated with the visual and the description as shown here. It's pretty useful. It will give you all those details, explanations, and it has evaluated the relevant fields too. So uh, based on your data, you have more visuals as you scroll down. And as shown here, you have those comparing proportions. You can toggle that button and uh, do all those uh, things. And as you scroll down, based on your data, you have all those uh, various visuals showing up. And like, for example, these are the different years, the contributing factors and uh, issue subcategory. And we are using 311 uh, service uh, request data from little, city of Little Rock, Arkansas, USA. So these are the various things. And also up top, you can see, you can add uh, this visual to the page as shown here is pretty cool, right? You don't have to do anything um, uh, automatically. A visual is uh, made for you. So you can use it in case if you want, or you can always go back uh, to the visual and try to maybe look at a different uh, data point and analyze why that decrease is between those two points, right? And immediately what happens is you have a visual default is waterfall chart and it shows the actual change in distribution between the periods and the relative contributing factors too. The explanation is given and uh, as you can see increase decrease total in other and uh, as shown here there are four um, visuals for you. Default is waterfall chart and there is a scatter plot too and you can see the dotted line shows the best fit and this is 100% stacked bar chart and uh, each column band is a percentage and the fourth one is a ribbon chart where it shows the value of the measure before and after. It shows changes in distribution and based on your data, there'll be more visuals here rather. So you have those uh, four options in case if you want, you can add them to the report page too. So those are um, available for you uh, as shown here and you can uh, give positive feedback or negative feedback based on the results of the algorithm, uh, whatever output you got. And also, if you want, you can go back to your visual, change it to a line chart and do the same thing. Analyze, increase or decrease. So this is pretty cool. Uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.